Today I want to show you how you can create interactive foliage in UDK. So first of all, what is interactive foliage? And I will show it to you with an example. So I'll just press play from here. Now as you can see here, this is my grass and yeah, it's moving in the wind. But now when I move through it, you can see it reacts with the player, as you can see here. And I will show you how to do that. So first of all, create any material you like. I've created this one here. I'll click on it. Okay, a simple grass material with a wind effect. Then, okay, wait a second, I will delete this notes here. This and this. Okay, now you have to add a rotate about axis. So, rot, and here you can see it rotate about axis, add it. Then you have to add a foliage normalized rotation. A word position, so word, add the word position. Then a subtract, so sub, and here it is subtract. A object word position, so op, obg and object word position. A constant three vector, so add the constant three vector. And a add node, so just type in add and add it. Okay, now connect the rotate about axis with the B from the add. Then the foliage normalized rotation with the normalized rotation axis. The subtract with the position on axis. The world position with position. And the object world position with A. And the constant 3 with B. Now at the constant 3 you can choose in which direction the grass should move or the, the static mass should move. So I recommend you to type in around 60 at B. Okay, and that's it. Now just add your wind effect to it. So I will connect this lower here with the add. And then connect everything with the position offset. And that's it. Now we've created interactive foliage. So, yeah, this is, is the wind effect, but I've shown that in another tutorial, so I won't show it now. And just click onto this little icon here. Now close this and go to your static mesh. So where is it? And here it is. Okay. Then click onto it into your content browser. So click onto it. Do right click into the window. Go to add actor add template and then add it as an interactive foliage actor and okay as you can see it is a little bit above so we move it down a little bit and it's a little bit small so scale it up okay now we can go into the properties of this mesh so just press F4 and under foliage physics, you can adjust it so that you see how it will look like. Or you can adjust the, the position and everything. So, yeah, you can play around with these settings, but I would just let them like they are. But of course, you can adjust them. Okay, now try it out. Play from here. And as you can see, it moves. But of course, when there are many meshes, it looks much better than just one here, as you can see here. It doesn't look so good. So we're going to the behind view. Behind view. And then you can see it's pretty good. It moves. Now we'll show you the other effect. When you type in another value at the constant 3 vector. So we we'll go back to the material. And let's say I will type in 60 or 80 at L and 0 at B so 0 let's try it out and play from here okay now now it looks like that you can see like waves so as I said I would recommend it to type in around 60 at, at B because otherwise it doesn't look so good as you can see here Okay, yeah, thank you for watching and until next time.